like I have a uh, full charge in the battery. Another early morning rant. I've been up all night. Um, my thirst for knowledge, my thirst for wisdom, my search for the truth at this point in life supersedes my desire for sleep and rest. I know that may sound a little crazy to people who uh, are all, in, all into this, you gotta sleep to fucking stay healthy shit, but you know what? I live in a crazy world where there's not a lot of time right now um, before some certain things may or may not take place here in this dimension. So I'm cramming, I'm studying, I'm meditating, I'm doing what I need to do to feel comfortable in the sense that when I do fall asleep, I want to know that I've done something to enrich my life with some wisdom and some knowledge. So, I mean, I don't care. People think that sleep is the key to fucking regeneration. I know that a lot of fucking people who get a lot of good sleep are who are some unconscious people. And I know a lot of people, family members, they got a ton of sleep and they died from cancers, you name it. So, thinking that, I think rest, yeah, absolutely is an essential uh, element to health. But uh, uh, right now, at this point in my life, I'm heavily nocturnal. I'm breaking the rules. I'm walking in the opposite direction of the er of the herd, and I'm violating a lot of the norms here on Earth. I don't fall for the nine to five bullshit. I have visions of my own business businesses plural, um, and I have a lot of dreams and aspirations. And I'm not going to fall into this predetermined jig. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to fall into this mold of what the people around me and in my, in my environment want for me. I'm not going to do what's normal because what's normal in this dimension is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It may bring you some uh, quick cash. Being a slave may do, may bring you things that are worldly, that can help you achieve a status and make all your parents and your grandparents happy, this and that. I'm not like that. I'm doing the opposite and I get a lot of fucking pride, self-pride and self-nourishment from doing that. So I don't mean to rant a bunch about... Uh, sleep. I'm just ranting about sleep right now because I've been up all night and I do this quite often. I'm not going to lie. I am a nocturnal being and uh, you know, am I, to be honest, I think that we were actually, certain groups of us humans were designed to be nocturnal beings. And you know, when I, when I go out during the day, all I can see is the sun and the moon. When I go out at night, there's a firmament of white lights in the sky that some people like to refer to as stars. I like to refer to them as something else. I'm not going to talk about that right now. What I'm talking about is that, in my opinion, we were designed, at least certain groups of us with certain genetics, to be nocturnal creatures. So, I mean, the beauty of the night sky, the beauty of the moonlight, the beauty of the, the, the peace of the nighttime, I mean, the matrix, never sleeps, ladies and gentlemen. The beast never does sleep. But let's face it, between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 a.m., there's a lot less activity by the worldly people, the sheep. There's a lot less of the atypical Bubis Americanus walking around, shuffling around, doing whatever it is that fuck they, they do during the day. All the businessmen, all the people just scurrying and running around, all the traffic, the horns, the car lights, the commotion, the sirens. The telephones aren't ringing during the night. It's much more peaceful for me to do what it is that I need to do in my late 20s now. I'm 27, I'm going to be 28 in April. And uh, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy doing what it is that I do. I thoroughly enjoy broadcasting my pirate signal, as Morpheus would tell you. And I, I thoroughly enjoy broadcasting my pirate signal and hacking into the matrix. Hmm. I thoroughly enjoy doing what I'm doing. Trying to help people, creating a little YouTube channel, remaining creative, instead of fitting into this little cookie cutter mold so that I can wake up and go to a nine to five job for nine hours, which I hate, so that I can make minimum wage, so that I can afford rent, in a house that isn't even what I want or desire? No, there's gotta be a loophole here, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for the loophole. I've been looking for it for years, and I feel like I'm right on the cusp of finding it. And I know that I will find it. Huh, but yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. There, there, there's, a, there's a whole element here 
for those who watch my channel due to the fact that I talk about Kundalini a lot. There's a lot in regards to Kundalini about wealth. That's why you see all these depictions of these enlightened beings from the past, Krishna, Parvati, all this stuff, Horus, Isis, um, all these different gods and goddesses from these different pantheons. They have been mythologically and archetypally, archetypically, I think that's the word, my terminology may be a little off. They're always, there's, they're always depicted as wearing um, like gold helmets or gold bracelets. Many times they're depicted with having serpents around their necks, around their ankles, around or their, their wrists. Again, you'll have to excuse me, I'm a little tired. And that has to do with the wealth that is bestowed to them, not only spiritually, but materially from the Kundalini. These people weren't living in little tents and, and things of that nature. No, they were living in palaces, ladies and gentlemen. The Kundalini is a royal energy. Not only does it sustain us physically, or excuse me, Jesus, not only does the Kundalini sustain us spiritually, but it sustains us and bestows the gifts of material wealth to the enlightened human. And I'm not talking about material wealth, oh, they got lots of money, man, I can just go buy all this stuff, I can buy cars and shit. No, I'm talking about living in palaces, palaces which, you know, the Kundalini is such a, it, there's so much glory in it. There's so much beauty in it. There's so much, uh, it's just, it's hard to put into words with the amount of sleep that I've had, but, we aren't designed to be, we're, we're designed, we're not supposed to be, des we're blah, 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 my God. We are not designed to be living in these little homes wrapped in electromagnetic pollution, no. We're supposed to be living in nature. We're supposed to be living in pyramids, ladies and gentlemen, palaces. But, I mean, there's a lot of people who have been programmed by the, uh, the New Age movement to think that if you're an enlightenment seeker that you're supposed to like wander around and be homeless and learn the lessons of having nothing and wander the Nile River, wander the desert, do this and that, become a martyr. No, you've been programmed. And that's why many spiritual people have nothing. They struggle with finances. And I'm not going to lie, I struggle with finances currently as well. And I thank everyone who goes out of their way to watch my videos. And I go out of my way. I'm very thankful for the people who donate to my channel because it is very, very needed at this time, but I am I am on the cusp of something grand, and I know it. I've felt it my whole life, and I've been waiting for this moment in time my whole life. This, this, this game, this matrix, is a illusory program. It's a, it's an entrainment program where your chances of escaping it are very, very narrow. But uh, it is true that it can be escaped. I do believe in that. But uh, now I'm going to wrap this one up short. I am ranting. Maybe I'll go a little bit longer. Call this one the uh, 6 a.m. exhausted from no sleep rant. It's just, uh, man, the, 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 the getting back to, you know, all the Egyptian gods and goddesses. Um, they're depicted with wearing gold and having the headdresses of certain animals. This is, this has to do with the royalty of nature. This has to do with the abundance of nature while in the enlightened context. Experiencing enlightenment 24-7, 365, if we could get back, excuse me, into that state of consciousness, which we are far from being able to do. I don't, I don't... I don't care how many fucking people out here try to tell you that, oh, we're in the enlightenment age. No, we're in the death age, ladies and gentlemen. We are far from being what we're supposed to be. So don't let anyone fool you and try to tell you that, oh, we're on the cusp of this great awakening. Yeah, that's true, but it's going to take some fucking cataclysm to get there because, unfortunately, humans have to be shaken out of their ignorance, oftentimes through cataclysmic events. However, again, I'm, I'm way too exhausted. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video can help inspire you to do something positive today for your health. Although I didn't talk about health in this video, I did rant a little bit about the Kundalini. 
help that my messages in my channel can help inspire you to do something positive today for your health. Help a fucking animal. Help yourself. Drink some cayenne pepper. Do something interesting. Break the mold of your conditioning. Life is way too precious to be fit into a cookie cutter mold. That the society, the society is giving you the mold, and it's up to you to either break the mold or just conform to it and just, you know, just become like fucking Han Solo in Return of the Jedi, when he gets frozen in kryptonite. That's what you're like right now. You're, 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 you're struggling to find a way to get out of this matrix, but you don't know how, and you lose faith due to that. And eventually, you just, I'm fighting to get out of the matrix. I do. And you're frozen in fucking kryptonite. That's why many souls are cold here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why many people are miserable. And let me tell you, escaping the matrix has nothing to do with money, ladies and gentlemen. Many people who have billions of dollars have nothing. They have no spiritual energy moving through their bodies. However, there are some individuals who are wealthy who have the kundalini moving through them. And that's the type of wealth. Money is not a good thing or excuse me money is a great thing but it can be a bad thing depending on who has the majority of it and the majority of the people who have the money on this in this dimension right now are not using it for the uh, upliftment of mankind of womankind of the species <laughs> so I hope this video made sense I keep saying things in my lack of sleep and I keep thinking back at the things I said and I keep going, what the fuck, did that even make sense? But it is what it is. I'm gonna put this video on YouTube regardless. I don't give a damn. I don't care what people think about me. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh, man, oh man, I'm, oh man, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm sick of living in this fucking world. I'm not sick of it. I'm sick of having to live within the city until I get my shit completely together so that I can get the fuck out and people keep asking me if I want to be part of these communities living elsewhere on the planet with a bunch of like-minded individuals absolutely not and that's not due to the fact that I don't like people I like isolation I'm a lone wolf I don't like being around large crowds even conscious people that's just how I am ladies and gentlemen I, I don't like being distracted by the presence of other people that may sound really bad to some people, but I really don't give a damn. I like being alone or with a few really, 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 really close fucking friends that are on the same mission as me. Because if you're not on the same mission as me, even though you may be as in, you may be interested in some of the stuff I talked.